I've been designing character spaces now since 1966, uh, and I'm able to do character spaces because I have traveled extensively, I've stood in spaces, I've understood how that space came about, why it feels the way it is, and what the elements are in it to accomplish that. Um, I also have, in my travels, acquired an enormous amount of resources, uh, and I still draw from those resources that I've accumulated to develop the character and, and feelings in houses that I'm doing here, the states, or wherever I decide to work. I have a process that is basically flawless. I do it on a step-by-step -step process. The client's involved in each step. Uh, they know what they get, why they get it, and they approve each step as we go. So there's no backtracking. We're not trying to go back and go ahead and design a project and then show you when it's finished and you say that, oh my gosh, that's not what I thought I was going to get. So we do it this way and, and it saves a lot of time and a lot of effort. Uh, doing the combined architecture, interior and landscape together is a much more rewarding experience for the client. It also saves a lot of money and the project gets done a lot quicker. I always work with the best interest of the client in mind and I usually meet or ex generally exceed their expectations. I can tell you a quick story about one client we did. It was the first client. I've done nine residences for this client since. Uh, but the first house we did for them, uh, we did all the drawings and sketches and so on. And one day I was visiting the site and I walked up behind them and they didn't know I was there. And they were looking at, the, at, at their living room. And this was in downtown Toronto. Uh, they had an atrium on the left side of the house and they didn't want to put curtains on it so I had to come up with a finish that was a multi-layer finish. It was transparent, we had pinks, grays and turquoises in there so that when the sun came out it brought the turquoise out and when the sun went in it brought the warm colors out especially for winter time in Toronto. And they were standing there looking at that and it happened to be a cloudy day and the, day, the clouds were moving by and one looked at the other and said, you know what, it's working. And the other said, what's working? He said, can't you feel the heat and the cool and the heat and the cool? He said, yeah, but it also looks like he did this. It looks exactly like he did in the sketches. So I, uh, at that point, I announced that my presence, and they were quite surprised. But anyway, we've done, we've done, like I said, nine residences for these people, and I'm working on a penthouse for them at the moment, too, the ninth one. Uh, the International Center asked me to put uh, a presentation together for over 200 designers on the incoming trend, uh, design trend, of course, but, and so I did that. We had a seminar, it was very successful, very informative, I was told, and it was on uh, what was already existing in the United States, which is the uh, contemporary or the stylized version of French, it's still very light, very contemporary, but we're adding antiques and with, it, with, with the French flavor. I find that myself, I think the long-term trend is going to be uh, more back to classical, uh, using classical elements. I think the bones of the architecture is going to be more important than the actual content. The content is going to be light because spaces are getting smaller and people are moving into a lot of condos. So, I think a lot more attention is going to be played to the detail, to the interior architecture, as well as the furniture itself. Still stay light but comfortable, adding antiques here and there to anchor people to the, to the past. I have a strong passion for creating and design. Uh, I've been doing this for many, many years and I kind of parallel myself with the architect Philip Johnson in a way uh, because he was still designing when he was 95 years old and I hope I get that far too. I graduated from OCAD and the University of Toronto in architecture. Uh, I studied uh, interior design and architecture in the reverse. I took interior design first which I find is a benefit because I learned the human scale of function and comfort first and then we learn how to build the envelope around it. With all of my years of experience and my knowledge base, I would be glad to help you with your interiors, whether you need the interior, the architecture, or the landscape. I can help you either way with contemporary mixing of the antique, 
uh, or anything to realize the dream that you have visualized for yourself or can't visualize for yourself and need some help. My initial consultation is free and I would look, f look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Good design is good design, period.